Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in for today's Heart to Home devotional. Uh, let's go ahead and open in prayer before we get started. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you and Lord, we just lift up this time to you, Lord. I pray that you just uh, prepare our hearts, Lord, and our minds uh, for what you've given us today, Lord, and that we just take it with us, Father. So we thank you and praise you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So uh, this past weekend, I had the opportunity to attend a women's conference, and I just wanted to kind of share something that I was reminded of uh, while I was there. And so one of the workshops that um, I attended was on our personal daily devotion time with the Lord. And um, the woman that taught it gave us some ideas and tips on you know, things we can do and ideas and uh, ways we can go about it. And um, if you're like me, things can get busy um, and we can just forget or move past that time that we should have with the Lord each day. And um, how easily can we get distracted, right? Um, but what is keeping us from spending time with our Abba Father? I was just reminded how essential it is for us to have that dialogue with him, that conversation with him every day. Um, and so as we grow in our walk with him. And so um, years ago, when Brandon and I lived up north, we had um, this very special fishing spot. Yes, I'm bringing up fishing again, um, that we would go to. It was a bit of a hike. We had to park. Um, then we'd start walking through this field that went around the, the almost like half of the lake. It was quite a little bit of a hike. And then you'd walk on this kind of road and there, it was lined with trees and there was a specific little almost hidden opening in the trees that, um, we would go down, there was a little trail and then it would kind of even out and, um, it was kind of a hidden spot. Nobody really knew about it. It was kind of our special spot, but I remember we'd go and uh, it was quiet. It was peaceful. No one was around and uh, we were just able to sit there with one another and fish and just enjoy the day and, and time with each other. And um, it made me think of Psalm 91 verse 1 and it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So I kind of thought, do you have that secret special place with the Lord, that special time, um, a place and time set apart for just you and Him, a meeting place. It can be anywhere. It can be any time of day. Unlike us, the, the Lord is there 24-7 just waiting for us to go to Him. Um, and if we don't have that special time and place, what are some things that we can do? You know, do we need to get up a few minutes earlier in the morning to allow us that, that time with him? Uh, we can do it in the car, you know. Um, and actually, as I was putting this together, I even thought, you know, if we're taking the time to watch these Heart to Home devotionals, maybe after we're done watching them, just take a few minutes after to just, be with him and talk to him and um, just reflect on whatever was said that day. Ask the Lord to help us to apply it to our lives. Um, when we spend time with him and in his word, it prepares our minds and our hearts to be uh, Christ-centered, you know, as it should be. Um, and that end, the end of that verse tells us that we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that made me think of like when a hen covers her chicks with her wings, they kind of go underneath um, to protect them. And so something I've noticed is after spending that time with the Lord, um, my heart and my mind is in the right place where it should be. Um, and he's at the forefront of my mind afterwards. And so, uh, you know, when we do that, we're able to be the sons and daughters that we're called to be to the world around us. And I'm sure many of us probably already do this, but um, for, those of, for those of us that sometimes just let that time slip by during the day, 
let us just seek time, seek ways to find those times. And, um, you know, we're getting ready to go into one of the most, in my opinion, the most important times of the year, Resurrection Sunday. And I pray that we really just let it sink in um, what he did for us that day, what um, he did for us on the cross, what he went through on the cross for us, what he suffered, but why he did it was the most amazing display of love ever known. So why? So we can spend eternity with him. Can we not give him time out of our lives each day just to sit with him and be with him let us find a way to uh just go to that meeting place with him let's close in prayer heavenly father lord um, we thank you lord that we can come to you lord that we can spend time with you and talk with you um, as our father lord and so i pray that we just determine in our hearts, Lord, to set aside time with you each day. And um, Lord, we thank you, as we were saying, just for what you've done for us on the cross, Lord, and for your love, Lord. So we just thank you and praise you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.